Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC, we do everything DIY and today we have a return service call for a beverage cooler and dispenser. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. In my previous video I troubleshooted this machine and we found that this carbonator motor is bad. We had a locked rotor. This is the brand new motor, looking real cool. It's gonna be my first time changing one of these. Just so you guys get a better look at this unit if you haven't watched the previous video, we're gonna open up this section here. And in here, we have the refrigeration unit. Inside here, we have water with glycol. Pretty simple unit. So we got the condensing unit right here for a compressor, air-cooled condenser. It's a bit dirty in here, as you can see. So Christian's gonna be doing the maintenance on the condensing unit while I change this carbonator motor. So let's go ahead and clean this cover. And here's that coil, definitely a bit dirty. Definitely gonna wanna brush that down. So, Got the power off of this unit right now. Just wanna show you guys what's in here. So inside here is the glycol. So this refrigeration system cools this off right here. And that cools off this water. Why it's green is because that's glycol, that's antifreeze. So the water doesn't freeze up. That water then gets pumped through here, through the beer dispensing system and it's what keeps everything cool. All right, so this is a 120 volt motor. Right now, I got the system on off. As far as how this works, it's just an on and off switch for the condenser unit, works all temperature, and it's an on and off switch for the pump motor right here. So this thing basically runs all the time. Okay. So not only that, I unplugged the plug here. This is a 120 volt motor. One third horsepower. We're getting into the electrical section of this motor so we can disconnect that. And that's what I wanna start with. So let's see, we have three wires here. We have a grounding screw, a hot wire, and a neutral. Ground is green, hot is black, neutral is white. All right. Taking off the grounding screw. Green wires out. And let's see. White, I believe that's terminal two. And where is that black terminal? All right, so one black wire, hot wire on terminal one and white wire on terminal two. As far as this motor, now let's pull that out. Electrical is disconnected. So this motor has four bolts. My wrench doesn't fit in there. But uh, I could use an adjustable, but if you look right here, it has these little resilient mounts. So if we loosen that up, we could actually take this off and leave the frame, but it does come with a new frame. I feel like it will look a lot nicer with a new frame. It'll be more work, but let's see. This little adjustable fits. All right, if you look over here, we got the four nuts underneath. So what we could actually do is just hold back over here. And then loosen this up using the wrench this way. Still kind of tight. All right, that already broke free. And pretty much we're gonna do the same for all the others. Hold back. Get the wrench on there.
loosen it up. And that's free, and the rest we can do by hand. Right? Oops, just fell. Then we can pull that out. Easy. All right, so this is now free. Definitely gonna wanna clean this up. But this is pretty much free. And it looks like we got a little clip here. Oh, my battery's low. I should have done it though. That's loose. And I'm thinking this thing just should pull out. Oh man. This thing really gunked up in here. Oh boy. I feel like something is wrong here. Is that pump that hard? This is the pump. This is the motor. Like this is really hard to spin oh boy guys you might need to order this pump it's ridiculously dirty here let's give that a quick wipe put some wd in here and it actually freed up this motor excuse me this pump as you can see now it actually spins so let's let that sit in there and this is feel, looking a lot better but this i would definitely recommend to replace it all right so this works right now it could probably get them through for the weekend it's a friday but this pump definitely needs to be changed they got these clips on here and there's fluid in here i do not want to lose that until we change this pump Let's just try to get them going for now. What I would like to do is try to clean this out, try to take off these hoses, try to run water through it, pressurized water, and try to see if there's any gunk inside here. This thing definitely locked up, but that's because all the rust that we saw on the old motor. But let's go ahead and let's get that new motor in. So here's the new motor. It's just like a little opening in the shaft and it just pushes in and goes in with this. And basically it just spins this little piece here and that's how it pumps. All right, so we're just gonna wanna make sure that this teeth goes in with that fitting right there, locks in, and this clamp just holds it together. Right there, I heard it lock in. Don't need to charge the battery, but let's get this in. These two are together, and this ring just holds it together, and that's it, pretty simple. We got this in place this is facing up and we're just gonna lock down the frame with some nuts and bolts Back here and tighten it up for all four all right let's open up the electrical panel for the motor and let's wire it up there and it's actually should be the same setup as the last one all right so i just wired this motor the same exact way as the old one as it's the same motor we got the grounding the ground wire to the grounding screw to the case of the motor the black wire which is your hot wire to terminal one and then your white wire which is neutral to terminal two all right got my ammeter across as you can see, there's nothing happening here. There is dirt in there, but I just want to test this real quick. Turn this on. You see some bubbles in there. 
He's definitely doing something. He's running at about 5.5 amps. The amps in the motor says 5.6 amps. And we're running at 5.5. There definitely is some kind of bubbles going on. I wonder what's going on. Let's let this run for a little bit and let's test it out. All right, the refrigeration system is at 42 degrees. That means this water level is 42 degrees as the sensor is right there. And just look, look, this is the heat exchanger. Look at the water level in there compared to what covers that heat exchanger. I feel like we need more water here. It looks like over here there was a, like a there's a marking about the level that was here. It just doesn't seem right. I feel like we need more water here, and also I can see a little leak right here. We're losing glycol, so it would make sense that we need more water as it's leaking out. I feel like we need, definitely need more of a level here. We're only using part of this heat exchanger to actually cool this down. We have a cup here, I got my thermometer in there, and it's definitely starting to cool down. We got 46 degrees. All right guys, this is working, but clearly we're losing water and glycol. So we're gonna have to refill this with distilled water. And at the same time, we're gonna have to check the glycol levels and possibly add or remove some, most likely add. Our sump is at 31 degrees and everything's running upstairs the last time I checked it was at 45 degrees so everything's starting to cool down and this machine is running but of course we're gonna have to come back and the way that pump was locked up like that I would definitely replace the pump it was also recommended by the manufacturer as when you change the motor you change the pump as well so we're gonna change the pump we're gonna fix this leaking hose. I don't wanna lose the concentration. They should be good for the weekend. Make sure that, of course, the levels are good and everything like that. So pump, fix leak, levels, and glycol for the next visit. And I'm not sure if you guys can see. Let's see. Those lines are, are condensating, so we know it's pretty warm in here and those lines are cold to where it would actually condensate so we should be good the pump keeps running and yeah we're gonna wrap this one up here change the pump and we're good to go if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week and I'll catch you all next time